No, I was going to say, what Steve's last comment always, he always says, uh, what's the problem I see in her is what I see in myself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to think of that as a young couple. You know, if you see a problem, you think you see a problem in your spouse or your, your lover or something, you need to look in the mirror and say, okay, what is something I'm doing that I need to work on? And I think that's a good, that's a, that's a good stepping stone for you to start out with, to see what's wrong. Okay. Um, along those same lines, one of the things that, that, that I took to heart, now I know we've been married for a week, but one of the things that... That's a good week, though. It's been a good week. <laughs> I took from this class and that stood in my heart as we as men always love that verse you know wise be submissive to your husband oh, yeah. but one of the things that, that, that Steve mentioned along with that comes great responsibility right you know that that <laughs> stood to my heart that, that if we as men and husbands want our wives to be submissive right. we need to also understand Ephesians 5 25 <laughs> and, and what we as men were called to do to, right. to love our wives right. as Christ loves the church. church so if you want your wives to be submissive there comes great responsibility with that's that. Right. And, I, yes. and I remember him saying that kind of, that has stuck, stuck with me since day one coming to this class. Yeah. I, I just wanted to say, too, that, that as, a, as a husband, the spiritual head of the household, a husband cannot leave or take his wife any place that he's not. Ooh, go. <laughs> what Brian said. Yeah. I agree. And that's what we're going to talk about next week. Because... You know, one of the biggest I mean, the conversations I've had or the biggest complaints I hear all the time is the one that said, you know, how can I follow him and he doesn't even follow Christ? Mm -hmm. You know, and we're going to talk about that next week. Wow. <laughs> so, man, come, we'll be meeting in another building. <laughs> out there that should have been in here that are not going to get the benefit of what you guys got the benefit of. So here's my encouragement to you. Tell somebody to come in here. You going to get a bigger room? We are. <laughs> as soon as we blow this thing out, we're going to be, they're, they're going to have to move us to a bigger room because too many marriages don't understand that the two biggest problems, the two only problems are ignorance and disobedience. And those two things lead you right away. They, they send you in the opposite direction of Jesus. They just send you in the opposite. Ashley pointed out ignorance. And you just didn't know what the word said. Right, right. And disobedience. I know what it said. I just didn't want to do it. And both of those things send you in the opposite direction of Jesus. We want to bring people where? To Jesus. So we're getting a lot of them in here. Amen? Amen. So bring somebody next week. Our team. We are we're coming tonight to support. So yeah. we're the blacks. If you got the polos or if you have the Mary J shirts, and everybody, we yeah. how awesome would this be if everybody in this classroom showed up and we all sat together to show the unity that the marriage ministry is bringing to this church.